Thank you for joining me today. My name is Forrest Knight. I'm one of the awesome sales engineers over here at LightStep. Today, we're going to be walking through instrumenting a Java Spring Boot application. And hopefully at the end of this, you understand why open telemetry is so awesome and how easy it is uh, to get started. So let's jump right into it. All right, so the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is actually go to lightstep.com and create an account. Uh, so go to lightstep.com, hit login, uh, create an account through there. Uh, once you have an account, to do that, we're going to jump right into step two. Step two is going to be uh, downloading the Spring Cloud Pet Clinic application. Uh, this is just a example application that Spring has created. We're going to instrument it uh, just so that we're all using the same thing for this example. So go ahead and clone this. I will clone this now. Open up your favorite terminal of choice. I'm going to use uh, this one. And on this project and we'll call it um, Hotel Java. All right, I'm going to cd into that. I'm going to open up my editor in the background, but I'm not going to use that just yet. Uh, the next thing that we want to do is actually go to opentelemetry.lifestep.com. This is going to be our reference and it's also uh, the best reference for information on just open telemetry, uh, how to instrument. Java, Python, Go, JavaScript. Um, this is what we're going to be using for this example today. So, I'll go to Java. I'll select Setup and Installation. Scroll down. I see it wants me to download the Otel Launcher for Java. So, the Otel Launcher for Java is a uh, automatic instrumentation agent uh, for OpenTelemetry. Uh, it provides all the default configuration to send this data to LightStep. So, I will download this. Download version 0.8.0. Select that there. That is downloading. So I have that downloaded. Now I want to go back to our instructions, which are here. All right. So to run this, I need to create a script that does this. So I will just copy and paste this. I'm going to go into my IDE now. This is the, the project that I just cloned. In the root directory, I'll just create a new script called run.sh. Paste our script there. All right. So uh, at the top, I can see that I need an access token, I need a service name, and I need to point this to the path of my agent. Now, I haven't added the agent to my project yet, so let's drag that in. I'm going to go over into my downloads folder on my computer and download or move the agent over into this project. So the agent is here. I'm going to update my path to this. So this be 0 0.8.0. And very handily, uh, if we want to just run any jar in the target folder, if you want a reference for how to just run uh, any jar in your target folder, you can just grab the last line here and just do java slash jar target uh, jar. All right, so at this point, we have our agent here. We have our jar path specified. We need to create a service name. Let's just call this uh, pet clinic uh, you know, demo. And my access token, that is found in LightStep. So let's go back into LightStep. Here, if you've logged in, hit login. You should have an account created already. Select the settings button in LightStep. Yours is going to look a little different because you don't have any services reporting in, but hit settings, scroll down, and you'll have some access tokens. You should just have one. I have a few. doesn't matter. This is just a product identifier. It's not a security token or anything like that. Copy this to your clipboard. So copy that to your clipboard, jump back into your project, and paste it here. So I have my access token here. I have a service name set, and I've set the path for my agent and the jar that I want to instrument. Now, I haven't actually built this artifact yet, so that is something that I need to do. So we'll do slash maven w package down here uh, in my terminal. This is within my project. You can do this anywhere. If you still have your other terminal open, that's fine. This is going to create a jar. Uh, you can also just add this package command into your script to rebuild the artifact every time. Totally okay. I'm just going to build it in this case, and then uh, once this is done building, we're going to run our application, jump into it, and go from there. Right. 
Okay, so I had a typo on my script. Uh, all right, run the script. Uh, make sure that you don't have any typos there like I just did. Uh, this is going to start the application. It is going to attach the OpenTelemetry Java agent. Uh, once this is finished running, uh, you see this started pet clinic application and however long that took, we want to go back into uh, our web browser, uh, load up the application here at just localhost 8080. This should bring you to the pet clinic application. Uh, now, in order to generate telemetry data, we need to uh, interact with our application. This is for every application unless you have some scripts that start up to generate spans. But for real applications, they only generate telemetry data when they're doing something. So we will uh, add an owner. You can just add yourself or you know anyone. Just throw some data in here. Uh, this need to be numbers. I'll add a new pet. Name him Best. Give him a birth date. And let's just make it a hamster. So I've added a pet. I've done some things. That should be fine for now. Uh, and that's really it. So really the last step is just viewing our data within LightStep. So let's jump into LightStep. Let's go to Explore. So Explore is a real-time view into all of your telemetry data. Uh, with LightStep, we have the ability to explore 100% of our data, data set in real time uh, on sample. So here I can see uh, some of the spans uh, for the activities that I've done. And there are a few, it looks like start spans here from the application uh, creating that database. But if I select into one of these, I can see an entire trace. So that is it. It really is that easy for any Java Spring Boot application. Just go to opentelemetry.lightstep.com, follow this guide. Uh, you'll find similar instructions in our application when you onboard. Uh, but in general, the Open Telemetry launchers that we've created have made it super, super simple to get started with Open Telemetry. We have one for Java, we have one for Go, we have one for Python, and we have one for JavaScript. So if you are using any of those four languages, definitely check out opentelemetry.lightstep.com. You can have data reporting in the Lightstep in under five minutes. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. Depending on where you're seeing this, uh, reach out to me at forest at lightstep.com and I will definitely uh, engage with you to help you out.